What's going on guys? I hope you guys are well. So let's talk about a fantasy fight. Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao against Nassim Hamid. Uh, who do I think wins that one? Uh, that's another great fight. A fight that, you know, I saw in an article being talked about. Uh, who wins? Uh, Prince Nassim Hamid uh, or Manny Pacquiao? Um, Nassim Hamid was a great featherweight fire. I do think, I think Nassim Hamid probably underachieved. He could have achieved a lot more. Uh, he lost to Barrera, who obviously Pacquiao beat. Um, I think, I, I think at that time, you know, Pacquiao obviously made his name or his his name in the higher weight classes. Although Pacquiao was a special fighter, even in the lower weight classes, but I do think he made his name in the higher weight classes. But as if they just say they have fought at one thirty, right? And when I do these videos in prime, right? So people may say, well, in prime Pacquiao was 140. He would have been, he was fighting at two weight. But thing is with Pacquiao, I feel like he could have easily made a catch weight with Nassim Hamed, right? And I don't think he was physically too much bigger than Nassim Hamed. I just think Pacquiao was so strong and so, so quick that he just was too much for these guys. But one thing Pacquiao also showed is that Pacquiao was so solid in terms of his chin. He had a granite chin. Apart from the Marquez fight, this guy showed a sturdy chin throughout his whole career where he took shots from bigger men and they bounced off his chin. Uh, Nassim Hamed was a great featherweight fighter and he had a lot of power. But would he have been able to knock or hurt Manny Pacquiao? I'm not sure. Pacquiao was, was a, he was a beast. You know, his speed, his power. Uh, you know, and I would favour Pacquiao by stoppage in that fight. I would favour Pacquiao by stoppage. But again, you know, Nassim Hamed was a formidable featherweight. A formidable featherweight. Um, you know, his, his movement, his angles, his his movement in the ring, the way he used to dance in the ring. He was unbelievable. Nassim Hamed was an unbelievable fighter. Like I said, he probably didn't achieve what he could have done in the sport. Maybe that could have been down to ill disciplined. It could be down to could be down to a lot of things. Um, the fact that he didn't have, you know, a, a division full glittered with talent. Um, but let's not forget that fight with Kevin Kelly in, in Madison Square Gardens. It's an unbelievable fight that he had, and he and he beat Kevin Kelly in a thriller. Uh, but I do think Pacquiao was a notch above. I do think Pacquiao's speed and power would have probably told in the end and I think he would have probably stopped Nassim Hamed. Uh I, and I don't know whether Nassim Hamed's power uh would have would have been able to hurt Pacquiao if I'm honest I think Pacquiao had a fairly granite chin solid chin although Pacquiao has been stopped uh I do think that he's he's quite solid and I, and I think Pacquiao's speed and power would have been a problem for Nassim because when I said when I'm talking about like I said I'm talking prime and the thing is with Pacquiao in his prime he could make a number of weights weight classes uh, and let's be real the Pacquiao that beat De La Hoya, Hatton, Cotto right can you really see Nassim Hamed beating that Pacquiao no you can't because Pacquiao at that point was being a bigger man uh, and not just being he wasn't just too quick for them he was too powerful for them he was beating them black and blue. He was beating them from pillar to post. That's hard to do against bigger men. That's hard to do. Look what he did to Margarito. He put a savage beating on Margarito. So someone like Nassim Hamed, who was a lot smaller, a lot more frail than those guys, you cannot see anything but a Manny Pacquiao knockout, if I'm honest. And when you think about the, the bigger guys that Pacquiao fought and the punch resistance he had, Nassim Hamed was known for his power and you would he'd probably have to stop Pacquiao in that fight just because of the work rate of of uh, Pacquiao may win in that fight and when we saw what Barrera did to him he outboxed Nassim Hamed I know people say Nassim Hamed wasn't at his best but nevertheless you know Barrera did beat him quite comfortably it was quite a one-sided win and then Barrera fought Pacquiao when he lost um, so if I'm honest, I only see that fight going one way and I think Pacquiao would have stopped Nassim Hamed, even though I'm such a big Nassim Hamed fan. 
Uh, I think Nassim Mohamed was a breath of fresh air for boxing. A uh, great entertainer, but in terms of them two in their prime, I think we'll all have to agree that Pacquiao was more formidable in his prime, uh, and obviously is a much has gone on to become uh, one of the greatest fighters ever of all time. Uh, he's a Hall of Famer, and Nassim Mohamed didn't quite reach, you know, or you could say Nassim Mohamed didn't go anywhere near the level that Pacquiao reached in the sport of boxing but leave your thoughts guys let me know what you think who do you think wins that fight do you think would you have given Nassim Mohamed a chance or do you think Pacquiao would have stopped him leave your thoughts in the comment section below and guys remember to please like share subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next video